Hello class, uh, this continuation of the recorded lecture for section 8.4, talking about matrix arithmetic, and we're going to jump into multiplication, which I will warn you, it's a little bit complicated. What I mean is that it's a little, it's not intuitive. And, um, and the definition that the book gives is a little hard to follow. So let's get started with that, though, because we are using the book. So I definitely want to make sure that we talk about it. And so the idea of matrix multiplication, that if you have two matrix multiply A and B, this is the idea that you end up taking uh, the first row of A and multiplying it by the first column of B. And you add all those together, and that gives you your first entry. And so it's, a, it's usually easier to show you with some examples than to walk through this uh, definition that they have here. But this idea here is quite important. Let me just put that in bold. Is that <clears throat> we can multiply two matrices only when the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of columns or number of rows in the second matrix. And that's because how the configuration of the multiplication is actually, um, you know, works. And so what I've done here is I have, before I turned on the recording, put up three matrices. Let's call those A, B, and C. And let's walk through uh, a few examples here. So example number one, let's do A times B. So here's how I like to strategize this. So the first thing I would do is look at the order of A and then look at the order of B. And this is a must or you can't do the multiplication as the number of rows in the first matrix, I'm sorry, the number of columns in the first matrix must equal the number of rows in the second matrix. And so what ends up happening is the answer is what's left. So the answer is gonna be two rows, this here, and the order would be two columns. So you'll see that we're gonna take a two by three matrix, multiply it by a three by two matrix, and end up with an answer of two by two. Okay, so let me show you how this works. Usually a couple of examples works better than the, all these letters all over the place. So let's take this matrix here, two, two, minus two, one, zero, four. And we're gonna multiply it by B, which is zero, two, minus one, minus four, minus seven, and three. So we're gonna end up with a two by two. So what you do is you start with call a uh, row one, so that would be this one here, and you're gonna multiply it by column one. And that'll be your first entry, one, one. And so how do you do that? It would be two times zero, and then plus two times two, and then plus a minus two times a minus one. So that would be the first entry. So then what goes down here, an entry uh, column one, row two, column one, you would take this row here and multiply it by column one again. So that would be one times zero plus zero times two and plus four times minus one. So if you think about what this answer will be, I'll do that one in blue. That would be two, right? This would be two. 
or no, that would be zero, excuse me, plus four, and that would be plus two. So the first entry here would be six. This would be zero plus zero. And you multiply those together, you get minus four. So you add those together, second entry would be minus four. So now we need the other two entries. And unfortunately, I don't know if I could fit this in here. So the good news is you could stop it and write that down if you need, but let me just put the answers in here, six and minus four. So the next one is column two and we need to do row one and row two. So in this case, now we're going to take column two and multiply it by row one. And so that would be uh, two times minus four plus two times minus seven and plus minus two times three. So if you add that all up, you get minus eight minus 14 and minus six, so that would be minus 28. So that would be the entry that we put right here, minus 28. Okay, so what's the last one? Well, it would be row two and column two multiplied together. So that would be one times minus four, and then plus zero times minus seven, and plus four times three. So if you add this all up, you'd get minus four plus zero plus 12, and that would give you the number eight. So you could see that uh, this particular uh, matrix is again two by two, and it ends up being six minus four minus 28 and eight. Very tedious calculation, right? Um, once you get the hang of it, uh, I've been doing this for <laughs> more time than I want to admit. Uh, it uh, You end up getting kind of good at the organization and making sure that you kind of walk through it step by step. Technology will help you too. There's many apps that you could use for matrix multiplication. And uh, some of your fancy calculators have that capability as well. Enter the matrices multiply it and out comes an answer. Okay, well, let's do a couple more examples. Okay, resume recording here because of the race and everything. But let's take a look at say A times C and see if we could do that one. Now remember, first thing you need to do is to check. So we do the order for A times the order for C. And so if you look at this, right, this row and this column must be equal. And the answer is no. So this cannot be done. So this would be no solution. And you wouldn't be able to multiply it. So that is always needed uh, to be able to check that. But what is if we flip it? What do we mean by flipping? Well, let me show you. Say like we do this. Instead of A times C, how about C times A? Let's look at this one. So that C times A is two by two, and an A is two by three. So you can see you have a two in the column of the first matrix and two in the row of the second. So this answer will be a two by three. And this one you could actually do. So let's do this one and see how this one turns out. Okay. So if we take a look at this, the C is two minus four minus one and zero. And we're gonna multiply it by two, one, two, zero minus two and four. Okay. 
So again, the strategy is, is the first entry is row one of the first matrix time column one of the second matrix. So if you take a look at that, we're gonna do row one, column one. So that would be two times two plus minus four. And so if you added that together, you would get four uh, minus four, right? And that would give us zero. So our answer down here, the first entry would be zero. Okay, so what would be our second entry? Well, our second entry would be row two times column one. So that would be minus one times two plus zero times one. So minus one times two is minus two plus zero. So the second entry here is minus two. Okay, so now we did first column and we did the first two rows. So the next step is let's take a, a column two and multiply it by the first by the two rows. And so let's do maybe this one in green. So now we're going to take column two. So if you think about that, that's going to be this entry right here. So column two times row one is right here. And so that would be uh, two times two, and then my plus minus four times zero, and that would give us four. And so that entry here would be four, column two, right? Row one. So the next one is, let's take a look at row two, column two. So that'd be minus one times two plus zero times zero. And you add that, you would get minus two. So that would be this entry right here. Cool. So what's the last one? Uh, the last one in this case is we're going to do uh, column three of matrix two and multiply that by row one and two of the first matrix. So let's do that and say brown. So now we're going to do this one right here. And so that would be two times minus two plus minus four times four. So what would that be? That'd be minus 4 and minus 16. So that entry there would be minus 20. So the last one would be column 3, row 2. So it'd be minus 2 times minus, or minus 1 times minus 2, and then 0 times 4. And so that would be a plus 2 again right here. Whew, tedious, huh? So this is kind of the strategy, uh, not kind of the strategy. This is a strategy uh, for multiplication uh, when you do these uh, calculations. And um, uh, a couple of things uh, is this idea of uh, properties of multiplication. So let me kind of show you these. And I will get the slide back up for that. And so the properties of multiplication are such that you can uh, have an associated property. So if you have three matrices multiplied together, it doesn't matter which two you do first. And you could also do a distributive property where the idea is, is that you could add first and then multiply or distribute this through and multiply. But one thing that you see that is not the case Is, as we proved here, C times A typically doesn't equal A times C. And so that property doesn't hold where it definitely holds in regular old numbers, right? Where, you know, two times three equals what? Three times two. But that does not hold with matrices. So that idea and uh, 
we call that the cumulative property where you can flip flop them, uh, does not hold uh, in multiplication. Okay, so I think there's a good place to stop. Uh, we're gonna do one more lecture from this section, uh, 8.3 or 8.4, which we'll talk about solving linear equations using inverses of matrices. That's kind of interesting.